We will respond to the threat of climate change knowing that the failure to do so would betray our children and future generations. Some may still deny the overwhelming judgment of science, but none can avoid the devastating impact of raging fires and crippling drought and more powerful storms. The Earth is warming, a reality that can no longer be ignored. The devastation of extreme climate is no longer just the burden of future generations. It is happening now. In this installment of the Center for American Progress's continuing series examining how climate change is disrupting stability and security throughout the world, we look at a region where the impacts are particularly acute, South Asia. South Asia is going to be one of the region's hardest hit by climate change. Rising temperatures in the region will be causing sea level rise as well as flooding in a lot of areas. So the reason this is such a significant factor in South Asia is because of the population. Uh, in India alone you have 1.2 billion people and a lot of that population is dependent on agriculture for their livelihoods. Rising sea levels and more frequent and intense floods will be a constant threat to people living along rivers or the coastline. Decreased snow cover in the Himalayas is already changing river systems, and rising temperatures will increase the frequency of drought and water shortages. 25% of the Indian population does not have access to water, does not have access to safe water. That percentage will surely increase um, once uh, droughts intensify, and, uh, you know, once the, the existing base of, of water diminishes um, even more, that's, that's clear. That's, that's absolutely uh, going to happen. And then the other extreme, of course, is uh, major flooding, uh, heavy monsoons, or intensification of existing monsoon patterns. India's neighbor, Bangladesh, faces similar problems. Three in four Bangladeshis live in rural, riverine, or seaside areas. The effects of climate change may make areas within both countries uninhabitable or unproductive. The likely result, mass displacement. In Dhaka city in particular, there are hundreds of thousands of people are displaced because of the climatic events, climatic events like cyclone, like uh, river erosion, like flood and etc. So in Bangladesh, this is the reality. And in Bangladesh, climate change is not threat. That what is about to come in Bangladesh, we're encountering the reality of the climate change. So this, is, this has already come. Increased rural to urban migration is creating challenges for the region's megacities. Dhaka, Bangladesh is the world's fastest growing megacity. With a population of 15 million people, new and innovative urban planning strategies will be essential to addressing this demographic challenge. The urbanization is taking place, uh, it has been for many years, and uh, many of the cities where people are moving to are actually in exposed areas at risk of, of climate change in low-level coastal regions, for example. But perhaps the biggest source of tension will be changes in migration in South Asia. Migration across the India-Bangladesh border is likely to increase with the growing stresses of climate change, creating an intersection of climate, migration, and security. One key flashpoint is the state of Assam. Devastating floods, already a regular occurrence, will become more common with increasing precipitation and more frequent storms due to climate change. Hundreds of communities along the banks of the Brahmaputra River will be threatened. Assam is facing climate change. Assam has the problem of migration. And we have recently, even in, in spite of Assam being a you know, resource abandoned country, uh, state of, uh, comparatively, uh, it's still, it's, it has started to face a lot of resource constraint. It, migration is happening and with climate change, the situation may get worse. Bangladeshis have an established migration history and familial connections in Assam. If forced to migrate, they might first gravitate there. In Bangladesh itself, there is, a, there is a fear of water levels rising because of global warming, and then migration is happening based on that. Perceptions and fears which have been a lot of, uh, which have pervaded villages in the borders, and also areas which are prone to flooding. So especially when the flooding happens from May to, uh, from the month of April to the month of 
on this, you will see a lot of illegal migration happening at the border. In the past, migration issues have sparked conflict in Assam, most recently in July 2012, which caused 40 deaths and prompted more than 170,000 people to flee their homes. Increased migration is likely to increase the frequency and intensity of conflicts in the future, exasperating insecurity in an already volatile region. The impact will not be confined to the region. Climate-induced insecurity is a global problem. That this nexus between climate change migration and security is one of the most substantial challenges facing our country today. It is a challenge that threatens the political, economic, and global stability of many nations around the world and has the potential to negatively impact our international governance systems. New policy approaches are needed. The division of labor between diplomacy, development, and defense that worked during the Cold War period is outdated. The Center for American Progress and others are working to develop a comprehensive new approach to these 21st century challenges. With the United States rebalancing its foreign policy interests towards uh, Asia Pacific, it is clear that we need new partnerships and new alliances to not only guarantee prosperity but also security in the region. And in that context, India is arguably one of the most important strategic partners for the United States. But the era of bilateral relationships of the 20th century is over. We have to look at those relationships in a much more comprehensive manner. And this is why climate change, human mobility and security issues, and especially the way they interconnect, are so important. They provide a new prism to look at the world and also to define those forward-looking partnerships as the one with India that the United States should be pursuing in the 21st century. The trends in Assam, India and the wider region are clear warnings. Population growth, unpredictable weather, drought and flooding undermine the foundations of rural society and threaten to overwhelm urban officials. The second order effects of climate change, including migration, can upset delicate political balances and spark conflict. It's very important to look at these migratory patterns and how they can be either adaptations to a climate changing world or how they affect our security in other ways. This is part of a comprehensive approach to defense, diplomacy, and development. Uh, and the understanding the security threats that could, we could face in the future uh, if there's an extreme event and mass displacement of people is a very important to understand in advance and take steps now to act preventatively uh, through adaptation mechanisms it is time for political leaders and policymakers to prioritize planning for the long term. By building resilience and working to strengthen basic human security, we can work together to avoid future crisis scenarios. Yeah.